Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how to catch the legendary Pokemon Dialga in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl as ever. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But you won't actually get to catch Dialga until you get to the top of Spear Pillar. If you don't know how to get to Spear Pillar, check out the video above, but it doesn't drop until after you take down the 7th gym. But once you've done all of that and you've caught up with Dialga at the top of Spear Pillar, obviously you could use the Master Ball. You could just throw it at it and it'll catch it. However, if you want to save the Master Ball to use it at a later date for another Pokemon that you really want, then there is a solution and the solution is you need to chip away at its health keeping your Pokemon in decent health all the while until eventually it's got like the tiniest little chunk of health to go. Now it's got one absolute beast of a move which, uh, which is called Roar of Time and it can really really hit your Pokemon so anytime it uses that it's a good idea on your next move to, uh, to get in some kind of healing if you can. I'd already queued up Surf which took it down to the tiniest little notch so then all I needed to do was to give myself some really big health to be able to ride out any more attacks that Dialga throws at you and then it was the case to get on to actually trying to catch it. And as it turns out, Ultra Balls definitely work the best although I did have some Timer Balls that I was planning to use if I used up all of the Ultra Balls in the process but I didn't actually use. As it turns out, I only needed four Ultra Balls so the first one, he jumped out of straight away there you see the second one, he had a little bit of a think. The third one, he had a bigger think. And then on the fourth Ultra Ball, he, uh, he decided to stay in. And that was the catch. So after four Ultra Balls, having chipped away at its health so that Dialga just had the tiniest amount of health, I managed to land the catch and I saved my Master Ball for anything else I fancy doing later on, like in the Underground or in the Safari game. However, if you inadvertently beat Dialga, as in to take away all of its HP, and he faints, you might be wondering how do you catch Dialga then? Well, the simple thing to do is to go back to your previous save point. So don't save the game after you've defeated Dialga. Instead, quit the game, close down Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl, whichever version you've got, and then start it up again, and that will take you back to your previous save. Now, ordinarily, that will be just as you arrive at Spear Pillar. But if you've saved it just before the fight with Dialga, then it'll queue that up. What I recommend if it does take you back to the start of Spear Pillar is that once you do get to Dialga, you save the game at that point so that then you always go back to just before the fight with Dialga. And then it's just a case of following the process that I talked through a little bit earlier. And that is how to catch Dialga in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the link on the left hand side and see more of my guide for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.